Okay, this is a quick tutorial on how to terminate a Cat5 cable with an RJ45 connector. And the tools you're going to need is a wire stripper, a pair of snips, an RJ45 crimp tool, um, and this is a, a testing tool which will test the cable that it's been wired correctly. These are quite cheap on eBay, you can get them for £10 sterling. And this crimp tool was about 20 quid sterling, you can get cheaper ones. And snips and wire stripper, you, can, you probably have your own. Okay, so what we want to do then is uh, strip back the, the outer shield. Uh, we're going about two and a half, three inches up the cable. So I'm just going to use my wire stripper to put the shield, twist that and pull that off. Okay, once we're inside, we've got this rip cord. I'm going to cut that out completely, so I'm just going to hold that aside. I'm using my snips, get rid of that. Okay, what we want to do then is we want to open these four power cores out. Okay, what we want to do then is we want to open these cores out completely. We'll start with the brown and white brown. Open them out completely. Pull them straight, try and straighten each strand out completely. Same with the blue pair. Open it completely. Pull them straight. Green pair. Open them out. And last but not least, the orange. Okay, so now we have all our strands open out. So what we're now we're going to do is going to put each put the strands into a certain order. There's a an industry standard order for for these cables. If you look at any machine made patch cable, you can see they're all ordered in in, in the same way. And you can you can come up with your own ordering system as long as both ends of the cable are the same. But I would recommend that you use the industry standard colouring system. So we're going to start ordering these strands. So it's the white, orange, orange. Pull them out straight. And it's the white, green. And it's the solid blue. It's the blue and white. Strand, solid green, and then white brown, and then the last is the brown. So, what I want to do is pull those out tight. You can just use your finger to straighten all the strands out. As you can see that, but and they're pretty good there. Okay, so once you have all your strands nice and straight, you're going to take your snip tools and trim just about three quarters of an inch up. Then you're going to get your RJ45 module, turn it round so that the little nib is facing down. So slide your cores up into the connector. Now you should have orange white on the left as you're looking at it. So give that a good push up in. So you want to check that when you look in at the top of your connector, you can see all the copper cores have been pushed up right to the top. So, bring in your crimping tool, slide your end in, just crimp 
stunt. Is that end? 